This is the version of the ER9X software I'm using. Now I've noticed that some of the differentiations and labels vary between versions um, from other online examples, but this is how it works with this one to um, set up flapperons. <clears throat> you see that I've set it up using this switch, which is labeled ID um, 0, 1, and 2, so three position switch to move the flaps. You can see that's the position one, and that's position two. So one's at 40%, and this is at 70%. I've calculated in slow movements. Uh, it takes four seconds to activate each step and to zero it. Now I'll just show you the settings that I've got for this. So I'll just exit out of that. We'll go into the AXN mix menu, and you'll see here that there's two additional mixes for aileron. Now that's for channel 1 aileron, and I've also got channel 2 aileron with the same mixes. I didn't have to reverse them. The reversing for the channels done here, and um, the, uh, the mixes for the ID switches for the, flap, for the flapperons uh, are set there. So let's go in and have a look at one of them. <clears throat> And you'll see that I've used the source at half. Now, uh, in another video I've seen where it's been programmed, there's a, uh, this option is, is max, and it's just a differentiation in the firmware uh, for the ER9X firmware that you're using. Uh, so here's the weight. So that moves the flaps 40% uh, <clears throat> in the down direction. And here's the switch selection. So that's ID1. So that's when you move this three position switch to one, and you get that 40% movement happening on the flaps. So that's for the first position. That warning light <clears throat> is just a warning to let you know that you're in uh, flaps mode. And that's set. So there's the waiting. There's where the switch is set to ID, and I'll show you where the warning is set. Uh, this is delay, it's set there and the warning is there, set to one. Um, so that's simply how they're set. I, all I did was create one of these and then copy it um, and, uh, and then change the values for the ID switch and for the percentage of movement. And then I just copied both of them to the uh, second aileron channel uh, and I didn't need to modify anything. Uh, it just worked. So that's Flapperons on ER9X firmware. Um, for FreeSky.